Width of the following is a parameter of a normal distribution. A, mean. B, standard deviation. C, mean and standard deviation. D, none of the above. Your answer is in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, the answer is mean, letter A. It refers to the entire group that is under study or investigation. A. Population B. Sample C. Random sampling D. Subset Entire group. That is the clue. So, the answer is in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, the answer is population. It is a subset taken from a population either by random or non-random sampling techniques A. Population B. Sample C. Random sampling D. Lottery sampling So the clue word here is subset So the answer is in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, the correct answer is sample. Which sample size gives, gives a smaller standard error of the mean according to central limit theorem? A. 10 B. 15 C. 25 D. 35 So, in 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 the answer is 35 the central limit theorem says that the sampling distribution of the sample mean is approximately normal if a the sample size is large b all possible sample are selected d the standard error of the sampling mean is small, the none of the above. So the final answer is in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so the sample size is large. Okay. Sample of size 12 are selected from a population with a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 7.5 what is the mean of the sampling of the sample means a 7.5 b 8 c 25 d 40 so the final answer is in 10 9 8 7 6 5 4, 3, 2, 0. Okay, so the final answer is 40. Why 40? Because the population mean is always equal to the mean of the sampling of a sample means. Equal lang yan sila. That is the property of a normal distribution. Population mean is always equal to the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means.